now, you've probably seen videos of people talking about how listening to Mario Kart music helped them finish all their homework in record time. But there have also been some critiques of this theory with people saying that Mario Kart music doesn't help them study at all, just distracts them. So why does Mario Kart music help some people get copious amounts of work done in record time and only distract others? But before we get into the video, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to Song Psych. It's totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time, but if you enjoy videos like this, you won't even want to. So subscribe to our channel, please. First, let's get into why Mario Kart music may help people study. A 2012 study compared how music with and with without lyrics affected human attention. They found that music with lyrics had big negative effects on the concentration and attention of the participants. They came to the conclusion that playing music without lyrics in a work environment is better. But this study only had people listen to music while doing work and didn't find results on how no music affected human attention. So it's unclear on whether lyricless music is better than no music at all. This just means that if you choose to listen to music while you're working, you should probably go more towards the lyricless stuff than, you know, stuff with lyrics. And Mario Kart music definitely fits into the lyricless music category. Another study that's worth pointing out is a 2014 study that wanted to find universal emotion related responses to music. They found that music that's louder, faster, and higher in pitch promote feelings of alertness. There are tons of Mario Kart songs that check all those boxes. So on top of that, video game music is built to be in the background. It's not supposed to distract you from playing the game. Video game music tends to have a lot of repetition to keep the player engaged but still focused on what they're doing. Another popular technique in making video game music is using a looped composition. This refers to when you loop a song and you can't tell where it begins or ends. It just sounds like one giant song. The purpose of this is to prevent the listener from being able to tell where the song starts or ends because that could distract them from playing the game. Mario Kart music definitely utilizes this and they mask it really well. Let's take the Coconut Mall music for example. In just one loop, not counting the intro, Coconut Mall has four different sections. cycles through all of those sections in just one minute. The loop also has a very linear structure, which makes it seem like the first section of the song is the chorus and the others are just like verses and bridges. When in reality, the bridge is just the outro of the loop. Whoa. So not only is Mario Kart music lyricless and proven to promote alertness, but its structure and looping composition make it really effective background music. But just because it checks all those boxes doesn't mean that listening to Mario Kart music helps everyone stay focused. Let's get into why this may not help you study. Some people might find Mario Kart music more distracting than anything, which is totally normal. Our brains are literally not wired to completely focus on two things at once. Research shows that humans don't do lots of things simultaneously. Instead, we switch our attention from task to task really quickly. There are tons of reasons why our brains have to switch between tasks. One is that the two tasks might be competing to use the same part of the brain. Listening to music and writing a paper is a good example of this. Listening to music uses so much of our brain that it's hard to find a task that doesn't clash with it. A 2007 study also shows that listening to music may be more distracting to introverts than extroverts. This study had people listen to arousing music, relaxing music, everyday noise, and silence. They found that introverted people were more poorly affected by arousing music. And as we said before, arousing music is universally considered louder, faster, and higher in pitch. But this is just one study. This doesn't mean that if you consider yourself an introvert that you're guaranteed to find background music distracting. This is just what this study suggests. 
So when it comes to whether Mario Kart music actually helps you study, there's no definitive yes or no answer. It depends on the person. What sounds help you study? Leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, you should like the video. You made it this far. Am I right, ladies? Thanks.